Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at Blackout Kingdom. Uh, Blackout Kingdom, this was a Kickstarter release from Gambler's Warehouse. If you don't know, uh, Gambler's Warehouse are based out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, they have their roots in Las Vegas, Nevada, but they've been a part of the playing card industry for over 20 years. And if you'd like to learn more about them, you can visit them at gamblerswarehouse.com. Uh, this campaign was done in two decks. There's the normal Blackout Kingdom in black, and then there's the limited light shade edition Blackout Kingdom deck, and there was only 1,500 of these decks. Uh, kind of the theme for this deck, uh, you know, kind of in the heyday of kings and the, uh, whatnot, the, the artists say that there was a mysterious force that swept over all the kingdoms, possessing all the rich and powerful and wealthy, and it caused a blackout forcing the kings to rule their kingdoms with blind eyes. And so the poor, uh, they weren't affected by this mysterious force, but the wealthy and the powerful had no choice uh, but to become united with the poor against this force to save their kingdom. Uh, and some people believe that the mysterious force was the eyes of the demon, but others believe that it was the watchful eyes of the gods. And so that is the theme that was behind the Blackout Kingdom. And so for the purpose of this deck review, uh, we're going to look at the uh, normal Blackout Kingdom, the one in black. And so we'll take a look at that right now. Here are the two uh, tuck cases side by side. You have the normal Blackout on the left and the Light Shade Edition on the right. And then here are the back designs for the two. You can see the Blackout Edition is, you know, devoid of color, but the Light Shade Edition is accented with turquoise and golds. Side by side, Here's how the Blackout Edition and the Light Shade Edition both look in a spread. The tech case on this, you can see, is branded. These are from United States Playing Card Company. It says Bicycle, trusted since 1885, and Blackout Kingdom. has the all-seeing eye right there in the middle of the giant exploded uh, center tip. And then it says Air Cushion Finish, made in the USA on one side, and Gambler's Warehouse, uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, the bottom has a little bit of ad copy about Blackout Kingdom and Gambler's Warehouse. And the back design, again, is the all-seeing eye and a giant diamond. It says Blackout Kingdom across the top, and it also has a custom tuck seal uh, just for the Blackout Kingdom cards. The two uh, flaps right there have the all-seeing eye on them again. And that is pretty much it for this tuck case. Now let's take a look at these cards. The Blackout Kingdom cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, so they do have a retail stock. They have modern cut and air cushion embossing. And if you'd like to learn more about bicycle paper stock and finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design of these cards are pretty cool. Uh, it does have a normal size bicycle border. It has four uh, circles in the corner, each one with an all-seeing eye, and then the all-seeing eye right there in the center as well of a giant diamond. And then around the uh, edges of that, there's just some kind of, you know, scroll work uh, that's kind of adding to uh, the overall picture. And then uh, there's kind of like an inside border of some like architectural lines. And so, and so that makes for a very mysterious and very powerful back design. With the Blackout Kingdom deck, you're going to get two gaff cards, uh, the first of which is your double backer, and your second of which is your double ender. It's a double ender king of hearts, and on the other side you can see it is the queen of hearts. With the Blackout Kingdom deck, you're going to get two jokers. Uh, both of them are identical. It's the uh, double-ended end-for-end jester, and he's holding a large staff. Uh, your ace of spades is pretty simple. It's the traditional Blackout Kingdom back with the center ace with the all-seeing eye. All of your number cards are completely original and redrawn. Uh, you'll notice that the pip and indices uh, in the corner have their own little boxed frame. And then the uh, center pips are also framed with kind of like this watermark um, border that goes around them. Your courts for the Blackout Kingdom have all been redrawn. And of course, since these are the royals, in the theme of the uh, deck, all of them have whited out eyes. Your red cards are going to have the red color, and of course that pops uh, really well against the back. But your red quartz are also devoid of color, and they kind of carry that very mysterious and ghost-like feel. Hey guys, I just want to grab the camera real quick and show you what some of these cards look like close up. This is your Blackout, Ace of Spades, and the two Jokers. And here are your two Gaff cards, the Double Backer and the Double Ender. Uh, for the Light Shade Edition, here is your Ace of Spades and your two jokers. Look how uh, beautifully colored they are. And here are your two gaff cards, your double backer, and your double ender. 
So that's pretty much it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy and twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.